Like and sub in the next 5 seconds or your family will have 13 years of bad luck. Don't risk it. With a brand new Fortnite update always comes a ton of brand new glitches. So today I'm going to show you guys all the newest glitches that are still working. So whether you're trying to get to level 1000 as soon as possible, or you just want to know some glitches to mess with people, I've definitely got you covered today. But real quick, 79.5% of you watching this right now are not subscribed, which means you're missing out on a free gift from me. I give five subscribers every single day who drop a like, turn on all notifications, notifications and leave a comment with their epic ID. Today I gifted five of my most loyal subscribers the brand new Mr. Dapperment skin. So congratulations and Merry Christmas. And if you guys want to get me something for Christmas, please put Doom in your Fortnite item shop next time you get on. I would appreciate it a ton. And also guys, I'm trying to add as many of you as possible. But if we hit 50,000 likes, I'll add another bonus 50 people today. So let's try to hit that goal. But for glitch number one, this is just kind of a warning. I wanted to give you guys because people who have been playing the snowdown shuffle LTM have been losing all of their gold so usually if you go into a match and your gold shows zero it's just a visual bug and then like the next game it'll go back to your normal amount but there were a ton of people that actually lost all of their gold permanently and it does not look like they're gonna be getting it back so I tried to see if this was still a thing and I went to a game and then left and I still had my gold so they may have fixed it and just never really ignored acknowledged it but i just wanted to warn anybody that has a ton of gold that's been really trying to save it that it may not be worth risking it okay and for glitch number two you're first gonna want to find some sneaky snowmen somewhere and since they tend to spawn where the snow on the map actually is we landed at lazy where two are guaranteed to spawn there but i was lucky enough to get them out of a chest anyways oh my god but what you're going to want to do is bring it all the way over to where the sand is near the center of the map. Throw one down that you have in your inventory or just exit the one if you walked all the way over there with one. And you want to stand close enough to where you can enter it and let yourself sink. And right before you're about to go under the sand, you want to enter the snowman. So I'm not going to lie. It's kind of hard to get the timing right. But if you can enter like right before you're about to go under the sand, you will actually be able to go under the sand as a snowman. Man. So it's a pretty funny little glitch and it'll actually give you some protection when you first jump out if somebody sees you since they have to break the snowman off you first. But it is a cool little funny trick to show your friends or something to just catch your enemy really off guard. And this next glitch of the snowman is something really random and really minor. But if you throw one in a trash can, it'll like glitch out and you can break the trash can and it'll just sit there spinning for some reason and then eventually just disappear. So there's no real point to this, but I just thought I would throw in here okay moving on to number three i have some more glitches that have to do with being under the sand so the first one i did mention in my last glitch video but in this match i was actually able to use it so i just wanted to show you guys and maybe some of you guys didn't see that video but if you're under the sand and then you hold your shoot button or your fire button as you're jumping out you will instantly shoot a shot when you come out of the sand usually you have to wait for the animation you jumping out of the sand to start shooting but this allows you to get a first shot off right away and pretty much guaranteed you're gonna get damage on your opponent before he can even hit you so yeah this is super effective but remember it's only really effective with shotguns because it only allows you to fire one bullet so if you have an smg out it's only going to shoot one smg bullet so yeah keep that in mind but another great glitch using the sand is if you have somebody hiding in a box or something you can go under the sand and then go under their box and jump out and you will phase into their box every single time and even in the slight chance they're holding their floor or below them like they're turbo building their floor it'll still let you jump through it like it doesn't matter so this is a way where you're gonna get in their box every yep. single time guaranteed so yeah this could be very very useful because you're gonna catch them off guard a hundred percent all right and this final sand glitch is probably the best but honestly i think there's a possibility you could get banned for it so i just did it in battle lab and not a regular match so basically you need to find yourself a harpoon gun and then obviously go somewhere where there's sand ideally somewhere in the middle of the map and you have to let yourself sink. And then as soon as you're about to go under the sand, you have to shoot the harpoon gun. And if you've done it right, you'll notice you're not a sand ball. There's just nothing there. You're completely invisible. And well, you can still bring out your builds and build whatever you want. And it's pretty funny, but you cannot shoot your weapons. So it would be super OP if you could eliminate people doing this. But I mean, it's OP in the sense that you cannot die. Like people can literally not hit you. So I guess that's kind of OP in itself. 
But yeah, I would not recommend doing this in a public match because I feel like there is a chance you could get banned. But I still think it's a really funny glitch to use against your friends at Battle Lab. Also, guys, by going under the sand, there is a new way to glitch inside of the crystals. So basically, you have to go under the sand as normal and go right up against one of the big crystals and then have your teammate, or you can even honestly have an enemy, run into you with the vehicle and it'll literally shove you inside of the crystal. So yeah, I showed you guys before a different way of getting in, but this way is a little bit easier. However, I wouldn't do it in a regular match because I still think you could get banned, even though it seems like they made it way harder to shoot out of the crystal now. But yeah, you can't even get out once you're in. So I don't know. I thought it was something kind of cool, so I decided to throw it in. Okay, and for number four, this is actually a pretty useful glitch that you should be able to use in a lot of your matches. The only item you need are bouncers, which are pretty common, so that shouldn't be too hard to find. And then the second requirement is that you're somewhere near where the zero point crystals are so you can use one. Or if you have a zero point fish, that would work too. But what I did here is that I built up a little bit first, then I went back and got a crystal. And then what you want to do is build up pretty high and then place a bouncer on the floor so you can bounce straight up. And then as you bounce straight up, you want to look straight up and start double jumping. So you're using the teleport or blink ability. And basically you just want to keep looking up and keep spamming your jump button and you'll be able to go super, super far. So you can see I got pretty far here, but if you go higher, you can actually get a lot farther than I did. But yeah, this is a great trick to rotate across the map very quickly. And even if someone shoots out your ramp while you're building up, you can use the zero point crystal to not take fall damage. So basically there's no downside to doing it. Okay, and for glitch number five, I actually have a couple slurp related glitches. So the first one is super simple, super easy. If you ever see a slurp truck around the map, at least one that's not under the sand or something, to destroy the big tank and get all the shield from it, all you have to do is pickaxe the front of the truck, the actual car part, and it will instantly destroy the back and give you the shield instantly. So super easy, but super cool. And then also after this update, you can once again destroy multiple slurp barrels at once, and it'll actually give you all the shield now. It used to only give you 10 shield or 10 health. So like it would only count one of them being destroyed, but now it'll give you credit for all of them. So yeah, that's pretty cool and definitely something to keep in mind if you're ever at Slurpee Swamp. All right, guys, and for glitch number six, this is by far my most favorite of the video. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is find yourself at least one rift fish. Now the water north of Craggy Cliffs has a ton of fishing holes, like it's actually insane. So I'd either land there or around Misty because that area has a lot of fishing holes too. But yeah, as soon as you found one of those, you're good to go. And well, next, you and your friend need to find another duo or squad and then just knock one of them and then make sure to box him up so his teammate can't get in. And then you have to stand right next to him while he's knocked, use the rift fish, and then right when the little timer hits zero, you need to hit the carry button and you should be able to pick him up as the rift is going off and you will be gliding with him on your back. So this glitch is absolutely hilarious because you can take him wherever you want on the map and his teammate is going to try and follow you around. He's gonna follow us. <laughs> He's following us. <laughs> Now, when you do this, you can drop him wherever you want, wherever you are in the sky, and you'll still be able to glide and everything. However, he will take fall damage, so as soon as he hits the ground, he's gonna be eliminated instantly. But you can really troll a team and make it near impossible for them to get his reboot card. But you can also use this with your teammates as well. So if your teammate is knocked and you wanna get out of there and be able to revive him safely, you can use this glitch to pick up your teammate and bring him wherever you want. And the cool thing is, if it's your teammate, you can drop him wherever you want on the map no matter what the height is and he will not take fall damage so that's pretty cool and i just love this glitch overall it's super funny to use and you guys should definitely try it next time you get on the game okay guys and for number seven i have a bunch of boat and fishing related glitches for you guys now this first one could get you banned so i wouldn't recommend doing this in a regular match and it's actually one i showcased in an earlier video but i wanted to see if it still worked or not and it 
looks like it still does work. So basically, if you guys don't know it, you need to have a full inventory and then have an extra item next to you while you use a harpoon gun. And then you pick up the extra item and right before it goes in your inventory, you shoot the harpoon gun at the fishing hole so it fishes the spot. And then you'll see that it does not actually take a charge away from your harpoon gun. So basically, you have unlimited harpoon gun charges. So yeah, it's pretty OP. And then if you combine this with the boat inventory glitch where you get a bunch of items together next to you and with the fishing stuff it's super easy because you can just pick them up and throw them right next to each other then you get a boat right next to all the items and then exit the boat equip your gas can and then enter the boat again then switch seats with the gas can still in hand and go to pick up the extra items that are outside the boat and you guys will notice it does not replace the gas can in your hand but you are actually still keeping the items they're not just disappearing and you can pick up literally as many items as you want and then when you go to drop any of the items you'll see the other ones start to appear in your inventory it's pretty crazy but i'm pretty sure you could get banned for doing this in a regular match so i wouldn't suggest doing it in a normal match and then also i thought i would just showcase this small little glitch that lets you avoid the delay in between rocket shots so usually there's a small delay when you shoot a rocket out of a boat but if you leave the boat and re-enter it you can instantly shoot a rocket again so you can really troll people with this if you brought a boat to a build fight or something and then just shot constant rockets at it so yeah that could be pretty op but yeah these are definitely some of the most broken glitches in the game right now okay guys and now we have an insane invincibility glitch and this glitch is super weird i wouldn't recommend doing this in a regular match either because you might get banned for it but basically you have to die to fall damage while trying to get into the mud flap semi truck at the same time so it may take a few tries but basically you'll be able to tell if your body's glitching out really hard and your teammate who's reviving you will see your body in a whole different spot but once he revives you you will be completely invisible to people and you can actually shoot them so this is super op i don't even understand how this works but hey it does but like i said i would just try it in a private match otherwise you may get reported and get banned for it okay and then for number eight i wanted to remind you guys about the afk creative glitch so apparently now you can only get the xp bonus five times in a single match so basically that comes out to an hour and 15 minutes for about 30,000 xp but you can just leave after that and start a new game and it'll work again so basically if you ever have to go and do something you can just leave yourself in a game and you'll still get that xp for an hour and 15 and then if you can start a new game after that then do that but there are also a few locations that still give you xp every time you go to them so i'll show you guys those locations now but yeah if you can guys definitely take advantage of that creative thing because even if you left it on when you went to sleep every night like that amount of xp will definitely add up over the season all right guys and as i'm editing this video the next portal from the zero point in game has just popped up so here it is it's right behind hydro 16 and you can hear some marvel related music because this is going to be for the marvel royalty and warriors pack and some people have already glitched the game to get these skins in game already so we kind of already know what's coming we're gonna have black panther captain marvel and taskmaster as a new skin bundle and i'm guessing that's gonna come out today since when the walking dead portal came out it released in the item shop that same night so that's pretty cool but that's gonna do it for the video guys if you haven't yet drop a like turn on all notifications and leave a comment with your epic id as well as the secret word black panther and i'll be twice as likely to add you also guys if you show me proof on twitter or instagram that you watch all my videos i'm gonna give one person a v buck card to get the pack that i think is coming out today so if you're desperate for it make sure you do that but that's gonna do it guys thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one all right peace out